Thank you so much. See, you're so caring. I love you. Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah, ah, you see, I have to run along now before the prince comes back and start looking for me. Okay, so why didn't you go with him? Uh, I don't know, he just asked us to stay behind. Yes. Okay. Uh, baby, like I said, I have to run along now, okay? And don't forget to come to the palace tomorrow night for the money I promise you, okay? Are you serious? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's all right. Thank you so much. <laughs> baby. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. I'm, you know, I'm really happy right I now. I will always do anything for you. You're so special to me. Thank you. All right. Take care of yourself. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. You know, I really enjoyed today's service. It was good. You know, and I must say that since you introduced me to this Christian religion, I have found peace and happiness again. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You know, sometimes within myself, I think, and I just wish that the people of this community would Put aside your fetish, traditional ways and, and turn to Christianity. It would be nice, you know? Yes, it would be nice. I think what they need is time. With time, they'll change. I'm hopeful. We are all hopeful. Let me go. I have a few things lined up for the day. Um, I'll visit you again. Huh? Okay. Um, when your mother returns, let her know that I was here. Send my one with dad's. Alright, I'll tell her. Hmm? I will, I'll tell her. Thank you very much. Um, before you go, I um I have a little gift for you. I, I got you this after service today. It's a holy bible. It's for you. Holy Bible. Yes, Holy Bible. Thank you. <laughs> well, you'll have to teach me how to read and understand this. That is not a problem, I will. Everything you need to know about Jesus Christ is here. So I'll teach you. This means a lot. Thank you. Huh? You're welcome. I'll see you again soon. Okay. Have a nice day. So sure will. Sorry. What? So sorry, so sorry. Sorry, calm down. Just calm down. Take it easy. No, she's coming. Where is she? She's coming.
from here. You sent for me. Amarachi. Who is this mad woman you always take my foot to every day? Someone brought a report to your mother about how you have been feeding the smart woman for a long time now. Who is she? Amara. Have you gone deaf and dumb? Why do you keep asking me? Why are you feeding a mad woman that you don't even know? Who is she? Answer me! Papa, I saw her feeding from a refuse dump. So I decided to feed her to stop her from eating those rotten food. Nah. This girl will put us into a problem one day. Amara. Amara. Amara Chuku, how many times did I call you? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Amara. <laughs> you are sorry. Because you feel we have food in plenty, then you have extra to go and feed a mad woman? Mm. Amara, you are taking me to that place now. I want to see this special mad woman that you feed every day. Did you hear what I said? Let's go. Here. Here. I don't care. I God's our provider, one that protects us from evil, the one that gives us rain for our farms. I salute you this morning. Yes, Kula, this is for you. My ancestors that have been there protecting us all these years, this is for you. <laughs> and this is mine. my provider this is drink for you my ancestors this is yours and this is mine Greetings or no? Greetings. I hope all is well. The Queen demands to see you immediately. Immediately? Yes or no? Okay. I'm coming behind you. Yes or no? Queen want to see me this early hour of the morning. Yes. Eh? Okay. I'll go and see her. Okay. 
So Ogona has not been informed of my father's current condition? Yes. I don't want him to know yet. Until I speak with Ono, he is the person to witness that your father nominated you before his present condition. Did my father actually say that? What happened to him? I don't know. I want to see him this morning and found him like that. He cannot talk. And from what I noticed, his organ of hearing is also affected. That means he cannot talk and he cannot hear. He's dumb. This is too bad. See the way I sent for you. Tell the Council of Elders that you were present when my son was nominated by his father as his heir apparent to his throne. What of if the king Later gets himself. Of course, this is why I said we should do it as quickly as possible. Someone the Council of Elders. Let them come as quickly as possible. Give my son the heir apparent authority. Let us do it immediately. Delay is dangerous. You must do it as quickly as you can do. Okay. In that case, I have to take my leave immediately. Yes, I saw you stepping out of my father's chambers. Is everything okay? There's no problem, my peeps. I just went to see the Igwe. I hope that everything is fine, or no? It's fine, my prince. I'm gonna. God, I'm gonna you. Uh, it is nice of you then to have stopped by. Thank you. Nothing to be afraid of. Let us leave here before that imposter, that idiot, meets us here. Let us go. Father. Mm -hmm. 
Can you, can you hear me? Can you, can you hear me, Father? Can, can you hear me? Here is the place. Where is the woman? I don't know. For some days now, she's not been here. I hope there is no problem. Oh, <laughs> no problem, my daughter. Um, <clears throat> let's go home now since she's not here. Alright? Okay. Let's go. This meeting, if I had known that this is why uh, Ono summoned us, huh? Ono would have informed us. How can the Queen claim that Igwe nominated Ikenna to be his successor? He said he was present when Igwe pronounced it. Were you there? I'm beginning to suspect Ono. Ah! But if you look at it very well, Ono cannot tell us why. What are you talking about? There's no way Igwe will nominate Ikenna to be his successor instead of uh, Ugonna. Ah? Uh, look, there is nothing to argue over there. You see, Igwe must have his reasons for nominating. Is you okay? You are not reasoning well. Anyway, the gods are watching. I want to go to my house. No problem. I don't want to die on time. We are looking out to it. Uh, let, I'm going. Me too. I can't take it. Hey! The rumor everywhere in this village is that the king has chosen Prince Igena as his successor. How can that be possible? Hey, if you're doubting me, ask Papa. That means Queen Obeze must be behind all this, if that's the fact. Wait, are you trying to say that the king can no longer take his own decisions? Ah, uh, now, this is tradition that we're talking about, though. Have you forgotten what has been going on at the palace? Queen Obeze wants to nominate everything for Ikena. But this is unfair now. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. If not, how can the Igwe suddenly go dumb and numb? He no longer says anything. That is why it's difficult to confirm Ikena's nomination. Even though Onowu claims he was around when the Igwe made the declaration. I don't know. All I know is that Prince Ugona will not allow that happen. He will not. Then there will be a serious problem. Because Ikena will not give up. Nguano, let's wait and see what happens. Ikenna. Yes. What is it? Ikenna, what is this news that I hear circulating? News? What news are you talking about? When did our father announce you as a successor to the throne of this community? Mike, stay away from that. Stay away from that! I will not be alive to watch my people make the mistake they will regret forever. 
mistake. You call me a mistake. Do you honestly think that you can fool the people forever? I'm my father's first son, he can now. I am the first. Will remain the first. I'm not gonna stand back and watch you, any human, take that which belongs to me. It would not happen. Who the hell do you think you are? I'll go now. You're asking me. Don't push me. Else. Don't make me tell you things that you will regret when you hear them. Speak. I want to hear you talk. Royal matters are not for ordinary people like you. I mean, babies like you, you know nothing about royalty. By the way, how did you get that name? Ogona, have you ever wondered? Because as far as I'm concerned, it means nothing to me. And this royal kingdom. But I'll tell you something. When I become king, oh yes, I will become king. When you become what? King of this royal kingdom. I will make you my chief god. <laughs> How about that? I said, I will make you. I will not allow you. Blitz that nonsense. Listen, I'm not your mate. Do you hear me? I am not your mate. When you speak to me, you put some respect to my name. I'll not allow you to insult me. You can. I will spare you today because you are my blood. The next time you pull this kind of stunt, your blood will spear. I will go in there to have a conversation with your mother. For clearly, you need to be spoken to. I was told that you testified in front of the elders that you were present when my father, the king, nominated, or should I say chose, Ikena as his successor to the throne. Is that true? Ugona, it is true. And I would advise that you take this matter the way you see it. The Igwe has severally mentioned to me that Ikina will succeed him before he made the presentation, the proclamation, before the queen. Have you finished? Yes. I have a question for you, Ono. Please go ahead. How is what you have just said possible, knowing that I'm still alive? Knowing that I'm the king's first son? The king has the right and authority to make decisions as to who becomes his successor among his sons. I totally disagree with you, Ono. Because I know very well that my father was never in good terms with Ikin. So how is it possible that he would wake up suddenly and declare him his successor? I know what you and the other elders have decreed is totally unacceptable by me. I am not going to stand back and watch Ikena become king over me. Why? It is not tradition and it is not right. You have a choice to make.
Royal matters are not for ordinary people like you. By the way, how did you get that name? Ogona, have you ever wondered? Because as far as I'm concerned, it means nothing to me and this royal kingdom. But I'll tell you something. When I become king of this royal kingdom, I will make you my chief guard. <laughs> The king has the right and authority to make decisions as to who becomes his successor among his sons. You know, I wouldn't be going through all of this if my mother had not died. Listen, I need you not to worry about this too much. The God who you serve will definitely fight your battle for you. You know, they deceived the people into thinking that my father nominated Ikenna to be his successor. But why does your mother hate you so much? She is not my mother. What do you expect? Huh? That's very unfair. Listen. I just need you to keep on trusting God. He will never ever disappoint you. Pray. Just keep praying. And I'm certain that the Most High will hear you. Everything will be fine. I can assure you that your father will be alright and he will definitely live to tell who his real successor will be. Okay? That is quite encouraging, you know. You have been my source of happiness. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We need to run along now before the program starts. We're running late and ready. True. Thank you. <laughs> now let's go. Let me be sure the gates are locked. For some days now, I've been unable to trace her whereabouts. I know she must have gone back to eating rotten food she finds on the road. You see, I'm surprised that you can be this worried about an ordinary mad woman. She is also a human being like us. Well, let's hope we'll find out someday. By the way, let us talk about us. You and I. Are you alright? Look at my friends. Yeah, how are you? Point of correction. This man here is not a prince. The only prince in this palace is the one talking to you right now. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my prince. Very soon. I will throw you out of this palace, back to the slums where you belong, I guess. You can now. I'm not going to have you insult me in front of a guest. Or what? Now you tell me, what are you going to do to me now? Please do not fight each other. Please. You, can, uh, you know that I have had just about enough of your nonsense in this palace. You are not part of this palace. You are not my father's son. You have no inheritance here. You shall know that. You're a fool. You hear that? Well, you are a compound fool. A bigger fool. We'll see. Run along. Don't mind that useless man. 
Uh, I'm sorry I had to act that way right in front. Please sit down. Enjoy your drink. I want to start going home. Chebekwe, no came to my house this morning and told me that Prince Ikena will be conferred with the symbol of authority by tomorrow. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Hmm. Why should such arrangement be made when Uguna has not been convinced about the authenticity of Ikena's nomination? Which will settle the first thing first. Before any other thing. Uko, there is nothing to settle. Igwe has made his last wishes. And our duty is to implement his wishes before his last breaths. That has been the tradition of this land. Uh, <clears throat> well, you should look at this matter very well though. Very important. Uko, uh. among Igwe's cabinet, you are the only one who has different views about this matter. Oh. One head cannot be more than too many heads. Well, let it be as you people have decided. I will see you people tomorrow at the palace. Onyashele. If Igwe chose Ike now instead of Gunna, who are you to kick against it? Oh, to a Ike Bula Ashirina Palari no Bodo. No, Pierre Ashirumuke. Tia! Blogo Malle. But, Papa, how did you get this information? <clears throat> I met Ichiya Uko. On my way coming back, mm. he was going home from the chair at the house. Akari, I told you. Now look at it. Prince Ikina will be crowned the king tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> so saying it now. The arrangement has been perfected, and there's no going back on mm. it. Not nothing will bring it back. I knew it. I knew it. But Papa, do you think Prince Ugona will allow that to happen? He has no option. There's absolutely nothing he can do about it. Hmm. He can't go against Igwe's decision because hmm. Igwe's decision remains the final. Papa, Papa, that beast called Prince Ikena cannot be allowed to rule this kingdom. Because if he does, hey, hey, Papa, all of us in this kingdom will be doomed. Uh, 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 you never can tell. He might be the best king this land has ever known. Hmm. It's possible. Papa, it is not possible. I don't agree with you at all. Oh, remember I was the one that walked in that palace. The priest Ikena that I know. <laughs> Papa, he's wicked. I know. He's very wicked. He cannot rule this kingdom. Nothing eh. is impossible in this life. Hmm. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Ikena, rule this, this, this uh, land. <laughs> Children. Yes. Give me my children. Ah. Do I have your children? Oh, look at my children. Fine, fine children. Give me my 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 children. Your children. 
demanded for her children. Mad woman. The same mad woman that came here 30 years ago. Came to you in the dream? Yes. This is strange. Very strange. Can it, can it be that she is still alive? I don't know. But the dream was something else. And she demanded for her children. Very aggressively. This is strange. Which mad woman are they talking about? Was there a mad person in this family? hearing your voice. We're all worried about you, Daddy. We want for you to get well soon. Get back on your feet. Like you used to be. We long to hear your voice, Father. But I'm positive that you'll be fine. Please get well soon, Dad. Your Majesty, my husband, can you please look at me? Just look at me. What exactly are you doing here? I should be asking you. I am not going to say anything right now. You just keep fooling yourself. Keep deceiving yourself. I am not fooling myself. He will get fine. Someday soon. And he will speak. For himself. Until then, ah, his father suddenly gone deaf. It's almost as if his entire system has shut down. And Ikenna's mother has taken advantage of this situation to pronounce Ikenna the heir to the throne. What am I going to do? I have to do something because this woman thinks that she's smart.
Mother, how do I look? You look good. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you going? Mother, today is the confirmation ceremony of the heir apparent to the throne of Umeetiti Kingdom. And the prince invited me. Be careful. Remember, you are a stranger there. So you have to be very careful. I will, mother. I will. <laughs> um, is there anything the matter? Yes. What is it? I... I found her. Who? The mad woman. I found her this morning. Have you told your father about it? Not yet. Go. When you come back, we'll talk about it. Okay. I'll leave now. Okay. Don't keep late. Thank you for that. Be careful. I'll be back soon. Remember, you're a stranger there. Be careful. Today's program was good. Oh. It marks the end of the program. You know, I wish it would continue. Because in that program, I have found a little peace and solace. Especially with you praying by my side. I understand. But like the Reverend said, it is well with you. I would say Amen. Mm -hmm. But I still have my reservations. Prince Gunna, where is your faith? Faith or no faith, Vicky. What must be, must be. You know what? I'll give you a book to read. By the time you're done reading, you will understand what it is to have faith in God. Okay. So, where do I go from here? You know, I cannot go back to the palace because I do not want to witness that ceremony. I'll accompany you. Like the Reverend said, it is well with you. I hmm. need you to believe those words. You know, you're the reason I allowed that ceremony hold in the first place. You? I would have called it off. It is fine, my prince. <laughs> Do you think that I am a prince? I'm going home. I want to go home. Why? Hey, you're saying why? Something is seriously wrong. Didn't you see what happened there? The crown refuses to stay on Ikenna's head and you're asking me why I'm going home. Wait, hold on now. That doesn't mean we have to go like that. Eh. Please wait and see what will happen next. My dear, I'm already disappointed. I'm not going to stay here for another two minutes. I'm going home. I knew such a thing would happen. That is to say, oh no, we did not tell our people the truth. Ah, Papa, what happened? I'm getting ready to join you people at the palace. There's no need for that because there is a big problem. Problem? How? Oh no, who and Queen Obeze lied to our people. Meaning? Meaning that in the first place, the king never nominated uh, Prince Ikenna because. The crown refused to settle on his head. I'm not surprised. Papa, they have been exposed. Yes, our people, we are disappointed. By the way, where is your sister? She's not back, Papa. She has not come back up till now? Yes. I thought she left the palace before me. What is she doing there? I don't know. Hi. 
evil people in this land. Only God knows what they did to our king that made him dump and numb. Ha! Ha! The evil shall be revealed at no distant time, whether they like it or not. Yes, yes, Papa. Uh, but what could she be doing there up to now? I don't know, Papa. I'm going inside. <laughs> The crown has rejected the king's choice. What? What? Listen, what are we going to do? We have to consult the gods and find out what is wrong. There is evil in the land. Mother, this is a conspiracy. I refuse to accept what this man has just said. Someone is using the seismo. You're right. Watch your tongue. The gods did not choose you. Why are you forcing yourself on the gods? Why are you forcing yourself on the people? And where has he been? Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Here he comes. The heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom. Listen, what are you trying to do? You want to cause confusion in this land? Oh no, well, the gods cannot lie. The gods cannot lie, oh no. Let the queen confess what she has done in this land. No! Let the queen confess. Yes! The anger of the gods will descend on her like a sledgehammer. Yes. Please don't do this to me. I am begging you in the name of the gods. Just, just name your price and I'm going to give you everything you want. Please, I beg you. You cannot bribe the gods. Confess. I charge you to confess. Have you taken your medication? Oh no. I won't take anything until I visit the hospital tomorrow. Oh, I see. Sorry, my friend. Thank you. Hmm. Well, what about lunch? Should I instruct the maidens to bring it here for you? Oh no. I don't want to take anything. Oh, my friend. Actually, I've been in this palace for the past three years now. And I'm unable to conceive. Oh, God. What could be the reason for this? Is it that the Igwe is the reason for this? Oh, God. Because I have no problem. Oh. The queen wants to see you in her bedroom. Is she back from the hospital? Yes, my queen. Go. Thank Tell you. them. 
Yes, come in. <laughs> you're welcome, my friend. Thank you. I didn't notice you're back from the hospital. Yes, I've come back. <sighs> Were you able to see the doctor? Yes, I did. Please keep what I'm about to tell you to yourself. Not uh, even the Igwe should hear about it until I decide. I heard you. And what is it? I went to see the doctor, like I said. And I explained how I've been feeling for a few days now. So the doctor told me to go for pregnant test. I did. And when the result came out, it was confirmed that I'm two months pregnant. <laughs> you pregnant? Yes. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're pregnant. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see the doctor, like I said, and I explained how I've been feeling for a few days now. So the doctor told me to go for pregnant test. I did. And when the result came out, it was confirmed that I'm two months pregnant. Is that a joke or what? For so many years of their marriage, she could not conceive for the king. How come she's suddenly pregnant? How? Have you told him about it? No. I have to conduct another pregnancy test before I can do that. Oh, I see. So how do you feel now? Just headache and fatigue. Uh -uh. In fact, all my body system has scattered. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Thank my you. My queen. Thank you. You have, um, you're feeling favored somehow. Yes. Yeah. My ambition has been to produce the future king of this community. If the baby in her womb is a male child, that means my stay here is in vain. I have to act quickly before it's too late for me. Yes, she is truly pregnant. And she is carrying a male child. Wise one, please help me. Help me, please help me. Please, I need your help. I really need your help at this time. <laughs> what exactly do you want? Wise one, I want her dead. Yes. I don't want to compete that true with anyone. No. Are you sure of what you're saying? Wise one, I'm very sure. I want her dead. Here we go again, Angie. How do you me? How do you go to me? How do you go to me? How do you go to me? Yeah, go get in, Angie. 
et que l'on a que l'on a Hum. On croit que c'est un peu de temps. On va dire à maman. Il y a un peu de temps. Il y a un You shall buy her a new crown as a gift. When you do that, before you give her that crown, you shall call her name three times. I repeat, three times. Why calling her name? Rub the content inside that bottle on the crown, inside and outside. Am I clear? Immediately she puts on the crown, she will be stricken with a severe headache which will kill her instantly. Sorry for all that you went through in the past. It was all my fault. Father, it's okay. I have news for you, Father. I have found my mother and my sister. Your mother and your sister. Do you know what you're talking about? Yes, father. I do have a twin sister. I am sure of that which I speak. Huh? 